Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to install a Wemo Smart Wi Fi light switch. So, before you do anything, you want to confirm that the power is off to the light switch that you are working on. So, we're going to go ahead and turn the power off at the circuit breaker, and we're going to be ready then to start installing this Wemo Smart Light Switch. So, now we've got the power off at the circuit breaker, this light switch is ready to get installed. However, before you get started installing your Wemo smart light switch, it's a good idea to understand if you have a neutral wire in your junction box. You can see that on the back of this Wemo light switch, it does require this white neutral wire be inside this junction box. So most homes after 1980 are going to have that neutral wire in there, but some of you won't. So if you don't have a neutral wire in there, the Wemo switch is not compatible or you would have to add a neutral wire. So now that we've got the power off, we're ready to take this cover plate off. And if you have a screwless cover plate, typically they will just pry off here if you put a screwdriver in the bottom or apply enough pressure to the bottom of the plate, you'll be able to lift it off. So let's see if we can pry it off there. And we have, we were able to get that off. You can see there's a little indentation there to pry that screwless cover plate off. Now we're gonna remove the existing light switch by removing these two screws here. If you have a non-contact voltage meter, now is a good time to check to make sure the power is off again, uh, just to be safe. And we do know that the power is off, so we're gonna continue working on this. But more than anything, when you're working on a smart home device or with electrical, confirm the power is off and make sure that you are being safe. Now that we have these screws removed from the existing light switch, we can pull it forward and out of the junction box so we can better look at the wiring and assess what we are dealing with here. Now, I recommend before you remove any of the existing wiring or wire nuts that you go ahead and take a picture. So pause for a minute, take a picture of your wiring inside the existing box and it's gonna make it much easier for you to install the new smart light switch. Now that we've got a picture of the existing wiring, we're just gonna remove the existing wires and wire nuts one by one from the existing switch. So just reach in there and pull the wires out and then you're just gonna twist to undo the existing wires. So go ahead and twist those counterclockwise and then these wires will come free. We're gonna do the next one up here. So this white one is that neutral wire that we were talking about that connects to this white one here. Now the next wire that I'm gonna undo is the load wire. It's this black wire here and this black wire then goes up to the light fixture. And the reason that it's called the load wire is because that is the load, the electrical resistance and load from this light bulb that is called the load wire and that's going up to this light fixture here. So we're gonna remove that and make sure you identify which wire this is because this load wire is going to connect here to this red wire here where it says load on the back of this switch. So these two will connect together once you remove this and get all the other wires removed. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that one as well. Now we've only got two wires left on this existing switch, so we're gonna remove those. We've got our green ground wire. We're just gonna go ahead and remove that wire nut now. And we are down to our last wire that we need to remove. And this is our hot wire. So this is the wire with the incoming power to the light switch. So we're gonna make sure that we remove this and just get good access here. And once again, we're gonna twist the nut counterclockwise to remove the wiring. And then we're gonna be able to remove this switch here. So there we go. We've got the old switch removed. And now we have our wires exposed and ready to install the Wemo switch. So, okay, so now we've got the Wemo switch ready to be installed. And you can see on the back of this Wemo switch, it does have indicators for what wire goes where. You've got the red load wire, the black line wire, and the line wire is also known as the hot wire, which we mentioned earlier the white wire, which is neutral, and the green wire, which is ground. So we have all those wires in here. We've got our white neutral wire here. We have our load wire, which is going out to this light fixture. And we have our hot wire or line wires here, which are the incoming power to this light switch. And right here, we've got our ground wires. We're gonna need to reconnect this ground wire to that one and our green ground wire too. So we're gonna put all these together and I'm just gonna start with the neutral wire since it looks like it's an easy one to check off the list. We've got our neutral wire connected and now we're gonna connect our green ground wire. 
So some of you will have unshielded copper wires like these spare copper wires here. Some of you will have an insulated green wire here in your junction box and we need to connect all the grounds together. So this ground wire that came undone, we're gonna connect it and this green ground wire from the light switch, we're gonna connect as well. Now, if you live in an area with metal junction boxes and conduit, you're not gonna have a ground wire necessarily because your junction boxes, as long as they are connected to conduit and grounded, act as a ground wire themselves. But if you've got plastic junction boxes, you wanna make sure that you connect your ground wires and have them all installed for your new light switch. Now we're gonna take our red load wire and connect it to the load wire inside the junction box here. All we have left is our hot wire for connection. So we're gonna take our hot wire, also known as the line wire, and connect it to the incoming hot power wires here and then secure with a wire nut. All right, we've got all of our wires connected. And now what you need to do is fold the wires back down into the junction box so you can fit the smart switch into the junction box. You're also gonna to need to take the cover off the Wemo light switch, which you can do just by prying it off like so. Then you'll be able to access these screws that you need to use to install the Wemo switch into the junction box. So we're gonna go ahead and fold these wires into the box to give us some more room to install this Wemo light switch. Now we've got the wires folded into the junction box and we're gonna take our Wemo smart switch and install it into the junction box. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that before you install this, you install it the right direction up so we can read Wemo, that is correct. And now we're just gonna push this down into the junction box and secure the screws as we install this. Now we've got our Wemo smart light switch installed to the junction box and we can go ahead and install the cover plate. So if you have a single switch, you can use this screwless cover plate and just snap it in place. If you had an existing cover plate with more than one switch in it, you can go ahead and just screw that back in. Now we're gonna restore the power to this smart light switch and make sure that it is properly functioning. Once we've got the power restored, we can then start connecting it to Wi-Fi so that we can control it remotely from our phone. All right, so we have the power restored to the Wemo smart light switch and you can go ahead and just press it to check and make sure that it's working. We can see that it's working and the smart light switch is ready to be connected to our Wi-Fi network and set up on the Wemo app. So we're gonna go ahead and get started doing that. So you're gonna need to download the Wemo app. You can see the Wemo logo, so we've got this installed. Now all we're gonna do is just open up the app and you're gonna to need to create a username and password for this device. I'm just gonna click allow only while using the app here and we're gonna go ahead and get this set up. Press login and create a username and password. Once that's done, you're gonna to need to verify your email address and user account through your email. So go ahead, look for that email and just click okay to verify. Once you verify the email, the Wemo app will set up and you're ready to add a new Wemo. Just go ahead and press the plus symbol here and it's gonna let you connect your Wemo light switch to your Wi-Fi network in the app. So we're just gonna click Wemo light switch here. So we have the newer version of the Wemo light switch, which is this Wemo light switch at the top. So we go ahead and click on this and it says, have you physically installed your Wemo? Yes, we have and it is blinking blue, so we go ahead and say yes to that as well. Now it's looking for our Wemo smart Wi-Fi light switch so that we can connect it. Yes, this is the device that we wanna connect, so we're gonna go ahead and just click on that next. One really important thing to note about the Wemo light switch and getting it connected to your app and Wi-Fi network is that the Wemo light switch only works with 2.4 gigahertz networks. So a lot of newer routers have both a 2.4 gigahertz band and a five gigahertz band. In order to get Wemo to connect to your Wi-Fi network, a lot of times you're gonna to need to temporarily disable that five gigahertz band while connecting Wemo, or make sure that you're connecting Wemo to the 2.4 gigahertz network or band on your Wi-Fi router. 
I have an Eero router and I had a little bit of an issue getting Wemo connected because it has both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz networks. All I did was disable the 5 gigahertz network for a few minutes and then Wemo was able to connect to the app and Wi-Fi. So super important that you have the Wemo connected to that 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network or that you choose that one or that you disable the 5 gigahertz network while you're trying to connect Wemo to the Wemo app. Once the Wemo app connects to the device, we're just gonna go ahead and give it a name. So we're gonna name this one Study, and then once we've got that named, it's gonna to wanna to connect to the Wi-Fi network, and you're gonna to need to choose the network and enter your password to get the Wemo device connected to the Wemo app. Now we select the network and enter our username. All right, now we have our Wemo smart light switch connected to the Wemo app and we can control it from the app. So our Wemo Wi-Fi smart light switch is now connected and can be controlled. You can also set up the Wemo smart light switch so that it will work with Alexa or Google Home voice commands so that you can control it with your voice rather than the app. And you can also use the switch to turn on or off the Wemo or use the app to turn it on or off. So thank you for watching this video. Give us that thumbs up, subscribe, like the video, and if you want to support us, click on any of the links below. Thank you.